What's up, guys? It's the calm. Hey, stay tuned. We're gonna go through this guy the whole way through. So, like I said, here it is, guys. It's five by eight. It's um, essentially about 12 feet long, and we'll go over the specs here in a minute. But uh, everything on it is customizable. Uh, the actual walk-on fenders, the type of tires, um, the type of doors you get, of course, uh, the solar lights for entry, um, and they're also outside motion lights. Um, uh, again, the tire mount and the side of the tire mounted on. Some of this stuff I've added. Uh, you can obviously see the table that I built and built a custom area for it to slip into and it'll slip into this as well. We'll go over that. Um, solar on top. Um, and then again, this Pelican style box that I've got my takeless water heater in. Um, but I'll say this, it comes ready to go do some things because again, this is, this is the awning that it comes with. Um, and you can see it's it's everything you need in an awning. Those are adjustable poles, uh, both sides. And the neat thing about it is, is you can make it real tall, depending on how it's raining, make it run one way or the other. Um, and again, you can lash them down for the wind. Um, these max tracks are something that I added, but you can see the versatility in this trailer. And this trailer again, I think I was out the door with at like $9,600 um, and it's just something you really can't beat. Um, I was super impressed with it uh, from all the research I did and I still really am. This is again the bed that comes with it that turns into a couch. Um, and you can see here, uh, it's just basically got everything you need um, and more really. So I guess it's a less time, I guess it's the time to get to the spec. So what I wanna show you guys real quick is some of the space in here. So this is a decent sized couch and, and this couch right here is probably two foot in this configuration by a foot and a half. So it's about three and a half feet wide. And you can see how much room is left below and above. And, and I'll go ahead and climb in here and get on this couch and show you guys what it looks like. Um, <laughs> this is me chilling on the couch. And you can see how much distance is from my foot to the other wall. And again, I'm setting up, but at the same time, um, I'm like almost 5'9 at 220, and I have plenty of room in here to move around. Uh, one of the kind of the neat things is um, if you look how much room there is above my head sitting down. So you can imagine when you're laying down, you've got all the room in the world. So that being said, when you look at it this way, um, you really have plenty of room in here for what you think would be a smaller uh, type trailer. Now, obviously it's not the size of a big trailer, but at the same time, um, it's more than enough room to be comfortable. And in here, I mean, this is the TV that comes as an option. Um, over there, you can see that with this TV, you get um, some 12 volt power that connects to a single battery. Uh, below the kitchen area and then the top where the TV's plugged into that goes right up to a short power plug where I've got the stuff plugged in. This little small heater is um, it's okay it's gonna help dramatically and the neat thing about these trailers and the build about them is it's all marine quality grade stuff so it it really thermal insulates and so the neat thing about it is you don't need a whole whole lot of heat in these things uh, to stay warm because a uh, they do produce a lot of heat. They're stilled really well, so they create a lot of condensation if it gets too hot in here. And a small heater like that does wonders for a place like this, especially if there's more than one of you in here. So again, it's got some of the vents, uh, static vents to allow air to move out, but not to move in. Um, and again, it's got a shelf, shelf behind our heads. And then as you exit it and the little cubby holes,
And I've got about, um, you know, six inches, six, seven inches uh, to the wall. So, you know, if, if you're sleeping by yourself, you're going to be angled and you're going to have more than enough room. If you're going to be sleeping with a loved one, obviously you don't sleep straight out like a board, but at the same time, they've got plenty of room over there as well. And we all kind of tend to curl our legs somewhat. So, I mean, it's... It's ideal for me. It's probably ideal for anybody that's six foot. Um, if you're six one, you're probably gonna get away with it. Anything above six one, you're probably gonna need a longer uh, leg room area, which you know is, is pretty customizable because you can just tell them, hey, let's shrink the kitchen area just a hair, and that's all it takes. So again, yep, the up style cubbies, and you know you can see I've got room behind my head. Um, and behind the pillow so I can slide up some and create more distance down there I'm just not really that worried about it I end up sleeping on my side and shrinking my legs a little bit so it works really okay let's get the reading glasses <laughs> we all love those don't we so here it is the specs Again, one of the greatest things about these trailers is the durability and how well they're built, but also how they're able to save weight because some of the smaller vehicles we're towing them with um, need that weight savings to be able to carry the gear that's on the vehicle itself and then in the trailer itself. And then we talk about adding food and water and, and gear, tools, supplies. So that stuff makes a huge difference. Um, and this is where this thing shines. Again, still, still, uh, Construction, the frame is all steel tubing, two inch, most of it's two by two inch. Uh, the center uh, spine is a three inch by three inch, uh, heavy duty piece of pipe that goes from front to end. Um, and again, the rest of the materials are incredible. So, first of all, you get a lifetime uh, rhino lining warranty with this. So, if it fails or starts peeling for whatever reason it's natural, they will have you bring it back or source a place local and have it recoded. Uh, the neat thing about this, this one right here is the marine fiberglass panel underneath. So underneath this, it goes from the front to back. It's fiberglass and on top of those metal braces at the bottom, it's fiberglass and that pure, the urethane floor on top of that. So uh, with this, this is crazy. It's 1,191 pounds, dry weight, period. Tum weight, 164. It's five foot wide. Fenders, these fenders add 14 inches, so you can do the math there. Um, the inside height is 46.25 inches, so think about that. That's over four feet from the ground. Nobody that I know is over four feet tall uh, at the waist going up. If you are, you're a pretty tall person. Um, and then the outside total length is 12 feet. Outside height with the roof racks is 73 inches. Easily fits in a garage. Um, with this configuration, I went with the bigger tires and the bigger rims. So that changes a little bit, but for the most part, uh, it's an RV queen bed, AKA a full queen. Uh, it's made of all 11 gauge steel. And then this is the neat part. So they use Aquaply, Astro Liner, Rhino Liner, uh, 0.32 mil aluminum. Uh, let me find it, guys. Let me find it. This is, these are these are the important things. Uh, they use poly wall liner, Tiger Seal, Seam Seal, and 3M5200 uh, adhesive. Stainless steel, uh, all hardware and bolts. Um, it's an HDPE material. It's a sandwich uh, construction floor with the HPDE and that fiberglass marine flooring. That's what I was talking about. They cut no corners on the construction of this as far as that goes. There's nothing on this thing that's gonna rot. The problem with you building one at home, that wood, regardless if it's uh, pressurized wood, sealed wood, it will rot, it will loosen, and it will start to shift as you drive down the road, I can assure you. Um, and then again, inside the roof and, uh, and the floor are both insulated, both top and bottom. Uh, they don't use any silicone or RV sealants. Every one of it, every one of the sealants they use are either automotive in the building of a vehicle 
or marine grade sealants. That means they are not going to disintegrate, they are not going to wear out over time, the UV is not going to do anything to them. They are going to consistently seal this trailer forever. And then on top of that, the, outst the outside, the exterior, is wrapped in rhino lining and it's got a lifetime warranty. So those are some of the things that you only get in the higher priced trailers. That's what I was talking about being so impressed with it. Um, some of the things that we can go over, these are things you can print off their um, website, but at the same time, you know, some of the neat things that come with it are roof racks. Uh, with this trailer, you get the roof rack. Um, you get the whole spree joke with the awning. You can get the awning. Um, the trifold bed is included. The cargo nets inside are included. Um, the rhino lining included. Uh, the back hitch included. Front jack included. The the 15 inch uh, Pro Comp wheels are included. Uh, Timberin suspensionless uh, suspension, it's included. It comes with a three year limited warranty. Uh, what else? Uh, one year, and, and then the actual trailer from Tiny Camper has a one year warranty based on you know what you're doing with it. Obviously, they know that this guy right here, considering it's their complete off-road edition, that's what we're gonna do with it. So those those things are probably gonna be fewer and far between, and you could probably talk to them. They're super good owners. Um, they really understand what they're building and what you're gonna use it for. So they wouldn't think some of the things you did was outlandish, but again, some, some may be covered, some may not be. Um, other than that, that's about all I had to go over with as, as far as the camper itself. Um, let's take a look at this stuff. So, Again, let's get under and take a look at all this. So right now you can see the timbrin. You can see the steel floor. You can see the, steel, the three by three pine spine that goes front to back. Um, it's got trailer brakes. And again, that suspension is 3,500 pounds. And I just told you dry, it weighs 1,191. So it's 1,200 pounds. Um, I don't think that there's something that we could do to this guy that would cause it to be overloaded in any form or fashion. Um, again, full swinging doors, doors with windows, this is an option. Dual windows that open and slide that have vents, option. Um, but for the most part, this stuff comes with this trailer. And basically what you see is something I can assure you is ready to go anywhere you, your vehicle can take it. Um, you do see that both doors do have a deadbolt um, option on them, built in, and it goes further out, but you can see it's a deadbolt option. So, you know, is there a chance of them breaking in? Of course, they could break the window. The thing about thieves is that's what they do. Thieves break into things. Could they break it in? Yes. But for the most part, this thing is pretty locked up and it's pretty secure. So. I, I wouldn't be afraid of leaving this guy locked down at a campsite and go off and go wheeling and then come home and be ready to see it. Because again, it's all locked. It's all separate lockable. Um, you can see that it is compatible with the lock and roll hitch 510. Um, that's not something that somebody's going to have. Most people don't have anything to attach to this apparatus. And I'll show you what the vehicle side looks like. This is what it looks like. And so you can see you pull this pin, these flip up, it slides down, these come over and this locks in. Um, and again, fully rotatable. So that is an extra peace of mind because when you leave with that hitch and go wheeling, nobody's coming along with a, with a hitch to match it. So again, I just wanted to give you guys a little more detailed look. Again, lock and deadbolt. You're locking the handle, you're deadbolting the door. This is the stuff that is really important for these things. You do have an extra hitch in the back if you wanted to load a bike rack per se, uh, another storage basket that you could carry uh, an exterior cooler on. I, I could think of a million things to do with it. But this is what I wanted to show you guys about um, just how well these are constructed and that I think they're absolutely worth the money. Anyway, if there's anything else you guys want to see about it, let me know. I'm extremely pleased to have it. 
you can see that the build's going on. We're gonna get this thing out pretty quick. I'm just trying to get it done. My work schedule is crazy, so once I get this guy done, it'll be ready to go. When I get back in town, I'll grab it and be able to go wherever I want and do some really fun and crazy things with it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Do me a favor, if you wanna see any of the equipment that we use on this channel, look in the description. I link everything to it. Also, be sure to like and subscribe this stuff. Subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more of it, more of this out in the overlanding world, more of the videos that, that is about overlanding. And then also, if you check my bio, you'll see that I've got a new uh, website up for, for merchandise, shirts, hats, coffee cups, whatever. Anyway, again, 2020 Tiny Camper Company, Kong. Thanks for watching, guys.